Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Xtal, and today we're going to start creating some creative effects using Touch Designer. This lesson is designed to be concise and easy to follow. As you go through the steps with me, you'll experience the feel of Touch Designer and hopefully create your own unique work along the way. First, select the movie file in Node to load the video you want to apply effects to. Make sure to adjust the resolution according to the custom settings to achieve the desired result. Next, connect the Texture 3D node. In Touch Designer, the Texture 3D node is used to store multiple frames as a 3D texture, which is essential for creating glitch effects. Set the cache size to 128 to ensure smooth frame blending and proper effect rendering. Add an Edge node below and set the Strength parameter to 10. The Edge node enhances contrast along the edges of an image, which helps intensify the glitch effect by emphasizing sharp transitions and distortions. Locate the pixelate node from the left palette and connect it. Adjust the block size parameter to control the pixelation level, which is crucial for achieving a stylized glitch effect by breaking the image into blocky segments. Add a Time Machine node and connect it sequentially to both the Texture 3D and Pixel 8 nodes. The Time Machine node allows frame offset manipulation, creating temporal distortion effects that enhance the glitch aesthetic by introducing frame delays, echoes, or time-based scrambling. Adjust the black offset of the Time Machine node to negative 5 and the white offset to negative 26. These parameters control the frame sampling range shifting the brightness levels over time to create dynamic glitches and temporal distortions in the effect. Next, add a matte node and connect the movie file in node as the first input, followed by the time machine node as the second input. The matte node is used to combine and mask the inputs, allowing you to blend the video and glitch effects while controlling areas of transparency for more precise distortion control. Add a level node and connect to the chain. Use the level node to adjust the gamma, lift, and gain parameters to balance the color of the video. This allows you to fine tune the brightness and contrast of the image to manipulate the full range of tones in the video to improve its effectiveness. Connect a noise node to the level node to introduce random distortion. The noise node is the first step in creating the glitch effect, as it generates unpredictable pixel level variations that simulate visual interference and randomness, giving the video a dynamic, distorted, glitchy look.
After fine-tuning the noise node, turn off the monochrome option. This step restores the color information to the effect, ensuring that the glitch distortion maintains its full color spectrum, which adds depth and vibrancy to the overall visual impact. As we did earlier, locate the pixelate node from the left palette and connect it to the noise node. Adjust the block size of the pixelate node to your desired level. The block size will significantly influence the glitch effect smaller blocks create finer pixelation, while larger blocks generate more intense blocky distortions, giving you flexibility in the visual outcome. Connect a Thresh node to the Pixelate node, then set the Threshold parameter to 1. This adjustment ensures that only the brightest areas of the image are affected by the pixelation. After that, Connect the Thresh node as the third input to the previously created Mat node. This final connection allows the thresholded pixelation effect to interact with the Mat, further refining the glitch effect by selectively blending areas of the image based on brightness. Create a Math node and connect it to the Pixelate effect to control its intensity by adjusting the value range. I'll connect the feedback node to the mat node created earlier to continuously accumulate data from previous frames. The feedback node continuously accumulates previous frames by default, but without a reset trigger, the image may appear static. To resolve this, create a beat chop and link its channel to the reset parameter of the feedback node using chop reference. This ensures the feedback resets periodically, allowing the glitch effect to dynamically change in sync with the beat. Next, I'll adjust the multi-add parameter in the previously created math node to fine-tune the brightness and contrast, creating a smoother and more subtle glitch effect. Next, I'll add a Displace node and connect it sequentially to the Feedback and Math nodes. This process enhances the image distortion and creates a more complex and dynamic glitch effect.
Next, add a comp node and connect the math and displace nodes. Position the math node below the displace node, ensuring that the distortion effect from the displace node is applied based on the values generated by the math node. This setup allows for a more refined and detailed glitch effect by combining the outputs of both nodes. Finally, add an output node to enable the display of the final result. This step ensures that the entire glitch effect can be viewed in real time. With this, we have successfully created a transparent glitch effect without any colors. In this process, we focused primarily on utilizing feedback and displacement distortions to generate dynamic visual movement. Now, in the next step, we will enhance the glitch effect by adjusting colors, contrast, and additional transformation elements to create a more striking and visually prominent glitch style. With this, we have successfully created a transparent glitch effect without any colors. In this process, we focused primarily on utilizing feedback and displacement distortions to generate dynamic visual movement. Now, in the next step, we will enhance the glitch effect by adjusting colors, contrast, and additional transformation elements to create a more striking and visually prominent glitch style. Next, connect the Threshold 2 node to the Pixelate node to apply additional contrast adjustments. In this process, Threshold 2 emphasizes specific brightness areas, which are then combined with the Pixelate node to generate a more structured pixelated glitch pattern. This enhances noise and details resulting in a sharper and more striking visual effect. Add a Comp2 node to combine the Multiply node with the original video. Ensure that the original video is positioned on the lower layer so that the glitch effect generated by the Multiply node is properly composited on top of it. Change the operation of the Comp node to Subtract, allowing the glitch effect created by the Multiply node to subtract specific areas from the original video. This results in a more pronounced glitch effect and visually emphasizes certain parts of the original footage. First, add a matte node to combine the outputs of Comp1 and Comp2. Then, connect a threshold node to fine-tune the contrast range of the combined image. The threshold node emphasizes or excludes specific brightness areas, allowing the glitch effect to become more distinct and refined. This step optimizes the visuals of each composition, enhancing the intensity and expression of the glitch effect. Adjust the parameters of the Pixelate node to fine-tune the pixelation intensity and modify it to suit your desired visual style. This allows you to either enhance or soften the glitch effect details, ultimately creating a more unique and distinctive visual. With this, I've created a second glitch effect with an emphasis on black tones. In this process, I carefully adjusted the colors and contrast to ensure that the strong visual elements centered around black blended seamlessly with the glitch effect. 
This enhancement highlights the distortion and creates a deeper, more immersive visual experience. Finally, in this step, I'll modify the black glitch effect to blend more harmoniously with the original footage. By adjusting the colors, I'll change the glitch tone to white, allowing it to integrate more naturally with the brightness and contrast of the original video. The method is simple. First, add an overnode and connect the multiply node to it, followed by connecting the original footage. Since the original color of the multiply node is white, you can easily adjust the color to blend more naturally with the original video. This process ensures that the glitch effect generated by the multiply node is seamlessly composited on top of the original footage with color adjustments applied effortlessly. The white glitch effect can be transformed into other colors with a dreamy look using the bloom effect. Add a bloom node from the left palette and experiment with different directions and intensities to match the effect with the original footage. By adjusting the bloom parameters, you can smoothly and naturally alter the color and brightness of the glitch effect, creating a more immersive visual experience. With this, we've created three different versions of the glitch effect using one base. I hope this demonstrates how glitches, transformed in various ways, can express the same idea in multiple forms. The creative process often involves experimentation and trial and error. But it is through these challenges that new possibilities and unique ideas emerge, ultimately leading to your own distinctive creations. I truly hope that the work you create will inspire and move others. Keep nurturing your passion for creation, your imagination and creativity hold endless possibilities. I hope this has been helpful, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.